Okay, so the eyes are in the middle of the head. Now, if you take the distance from the eyes to the chin, half that distance is where the bottom of the nose would be. So if you want to be super accurate, we've got about five inches here. So we could use a ruler and actually measure this. Half of five. That's right, two and a half. I'm gonna kind of put the tip of the nose here. Uh, the corners of the nostrils usually line up with the corners of the eyes. So I'm going to make a little, almost like note to myself, coming down from the corners of the eyes, corners of the eyes, and as far as the nose goes, that is a pretty good start right there. I would avoid putting a big heavy line around the nose. Maybe sometimes I'll do like a little bit of a line that kind of implies the bridge of the nose, but putting a big heavy dark line around the nose is not your best option. That's not how we see nose. That, we'll talk about that when we get into shadows and stuff. Now, when it comes to the mouth, if you take this remaining distance from the bottom of the nose to the chin, we're talking like another two and a half inches here, but I'm gonna make a little note to myself out here and here. If we split this distance into imaginary thirds, so let's, I'm just estimating about one third, two thirds, three thirds. So it's one third, another one third, and another one third. So that's three thirds that make up that whole distance. It's this line that's important. That's where the split between the upper lip and the lower lip goes. So I'm going to make a little line over. Now when it comes to proportions, remember if something looks weird it's because it's, it's off. You know if a mouth is this small that just looks really weird. Okay? What you want to do, the centers of the pupils help determine where the corners of the mouth are. So I'm going to kind of get the mouth headed out this way, this way. Upper lip tends to be relatively thin, kind of dip down in the middle where I believe that's called the septum. That little area between the nose and the upper lip. Bottom lip tends to be fuller. like so okay now a couple things that we can add that will make some quick progress i'm a big fan of eyebrows instead of just individual strands of hair i'm gonna just make up a a shape that represents the eyebrow you can almost kind of follow up where the bridge and the nose would be and give yourself again Eyebrows are huge in terms of expression to the face. Now this next guideline, a lot of people have a hard time believing this one, but it's ears. The tops of your ears are in line with your eyes, and the bottoms of your ears are in line with the bottom of your nose. So I'm going to add an ear out here. Kind of curve in, and this is like the bottom lobe of the ear. Same thing over here, top of the ear in line with the eye, and bottom in line with the nose. All right, we might have a, a third installment here, but this is good for now.